Why are there little hills in the orchard? Hello. Guess what? Willow's back today. She's been away for a while. So I've been looking after the orchard and keeping it tidy. <gasps> Look at the mess! What's happened? Yesterday, when we were picking up apples, were they? Did you see anyone in the orchard last night or this morning? No. Nope. Hmm. I wonder who brought the piles of earth into the orchard? It wasn't me, and it wasn't you. Who should we ask first? I know. She's pink, she has long floppy ears, and she likes gardening. Is it Mimi? Billy? Or Horace. Mimi, you're right. Well done. Let's go and ask Mimi. Maybe she's been digging. We'll stay and guard the orchard. and made little hills. No, I didn't. That's from the hole I'm digging for my new plant. I haven't taken any earth anywhere. Oh. Oh, it's a wiggly worm. Off you go, little worm. Back underground. <laughs> Maybe someone else has been digging holes in the orchard to plant something. Maybe that's why there are hilly piles of earth everywhere. But what could they have been planting? Hmm. You find fruit in apple orchards, don't you? So what would you plant? Sunflowers? Apple trees? Or cabbages? Apple trees! Yes! Well done! I'm going back to see if I can see some new apple trees. Come on. Bye, Mimi. So here's what I think. I think someone came in the night and dug holes to plant trees. Wow. Let's look for new apple trees. Hmm. No new apple tree here. No hole either. Anything over there? No. No. This is a big mystery. I need some more help. Who else could have been digging? Maybe Horace will know. Let's go and ask him. Can you two keep guarding? Yeah, of course we can. Horace! <laughs> there you are. I couldn't see you. I was swimming underwater. What's up, Jess? Have you been digging in Willow's orchard? Digging? <laughs> Nope, not me. Well, somebody has, and we don't know who. Hmm. What if the digger's there, but you can't see him? An invisible digger? Yeah. You couldn't see me when I was underwater, but I was there just the same. You mean, maybe the mystery digger's underground? It's possible, Jess. That's brilliant, Horace. Thanks! Whoop-de-whoop! 
I think our digger lives underground. Do you remember who we saw today that lives underground? He was all wriggly and wiggly. That's right! It was a worm! Yes. Worms are really small. And those paws are big. You're right. And you really need nails or claws to dig holes. It's not a worm, is it? No. no. Hello, everybody. Is Willow home yet? <gasps> Look at all the molehills. Molehills? Definitely a molehill. Molehills! Is that what they're called? Yes. Moles make them when they're digging underground. Then they push the soil up above ground as they carry on. I said it was an underground digger. They hardly ever come up from underground. And they only dig when it's very quiet. Hmm. <gasps> because Willow's been away. <laughs> Clever Mole! I'd love to meet him! Hey, these mole hills are in a line. Maybe the mole isn't digging lots of holes. Maybe he's digging one long hole. Like a tunnel? Yes, so he can get right across the orchard without having to come above ground. If he's digging a tunnel, then the next molehill should appear somewhere about... Here! Yeah! yeah! Shh! Moles only dig when it's really quiet. Let's watch. Come on. and wait for the mole to show up again. Willow, Jess, come and see our new hiding place. <laughs> Shh. Remember, if you ever want to see a mole, you have to stay very, very quiet. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. planted some lettuce seeds in her garden. I'm going to see if they sprouted yet. Do you want to come with me? Great! There's Little Bird. Are you going to Mimi's too? Bye Little Bird. See you there. Hello Little Bird. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, would you believe it? Not a single seed has sprouted. Why not? What's gone wrong? I think little birds eaten all the seeds. Oh, I'll never grow any lettuces at this rate. I wish I could stop her. Hmm. 
Let's think. How can we stop Little Bird eating all the lettuce seeds? <gasps> hey! That's the big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess which yes. Come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can we stop Little Bird eating the lettuce seeds? I don't know what to do. <laughs> She's so cheeky. Don't worry, Mimi. I'll find the answer. You get some more seeds. OK. Bye, Mimi. Bye. Let's ask Little Bird's best friends if they can help. Can you guess who they are? One's Woolly and one's Squeaky. And they live in Buttercup Meadow. Is it Horace, Willow or Bar and Billy? Bar's Willy and Billy's Squeaky. That's right. Hooray! Come on, let's go and see Bar and Billy. Billy, Bar, I need your help. Why, Jess? What's up? Little Bird's eaten all Mimi's lettuce seeds. <laughs> that was cheeky of her. I don't think she meant to be cheeky. She just loves seeds. <laughs> and nuts and worms and her most best and favourite thing is black currants. Isn't that right, Bar? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bar! <laughs> Sorry, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Just like Little Bird. <gasps> hey, if we put out some different food for her, she could eat that instead of the seeds. Brilliant idea. Let's go and tell Mimi. <laughs> Mimi, I've had this brilliant idea. Well, Billy said it was a brilliant idea. Will it stop Little Bird eating my seeds? I think so. If we put out some other food for Little Bird to eat that she really loves, then she won't want to eat your seeds. Can you remember what Billy said was Little Bird's favourite food? Bananas, blackcurrants or grapes? Blackcurrants! Yes, you're right! Amazing! There's a blackcurrant bush behind the potting shed. There we go. Plenty there for a hungry little bird. You can plant the lettuce seeds now, Mimi. OK, will do. Let's watch and see if it works. We need somewhere to hide. Over here, Jess. There's little bird. Is she going to eat the black currants? Yes! Oh no! She's eating my lettuce seeds again! Stop, little bird! <sighs> I'll have to think of something else. And I'll go and get some more lettuce seeds from the potting shed. Who else can I ask for help? I know! She knows about growing things and she takes care of all the apple trees. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> That's right! It's Willow! Come on! Can't find you, Jinx. I give up. Joey, have you seen Willow? She's gone for a walk. Have you seen Jinx? We're playing hide and seek and I can't find her anywhere. <laughs> Hide the seeds under something. Yes, that's it. I think I've just found the answer to my question. What question? What seeds? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. Bye. Good. Mimi's already planted some more seeds. This old cloth is perfect. There. Oh, hi, Jess. Look, Mimi, I've hidden the seeds. Little Bird can't get to them now. Yes, but neither can the sunshine. The cloth's blocking the sun. Seeds need sunshine or they won't grow. 
Oh, I didn't think of that. Come on, Mimi. I have to put the cloth back where I found it. <gasps> it's Little Bird again. Stop it, <gasps> Little Bird. Go on, shoo. Oh, phew. That was close. Do you know what? Every time Little Bird sees me, she flies away. Maybe I should just stay right here. <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> Let's try it. You hide over there. What are you doing, Jess? I'm keeping Little Bird away from Mimi's lettuce seeds. Oh, you're being a scarecrow. Yay! I'm a scarecrow! I've answered the question! Yippity-yay! Yippity-yay! Oh, no! What? I can't be a scarecrow forever and ever. I'll get tired. And what about when it gets dark or it rains? I hadn't thought of that. Hmm. I know, Mimi. You could make a scarecrow like the farmers do and stick it in the vegetable patch. Of course I can. And I know just who it should look like. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! It looks just like me. Let's test it out. show you. It's in here. This is my nature collection. I've got fur cones and shells and leaves and pebbles and feathers and all sorts of things in here. There you are, Jess. I've been looking for you for ages. Hi, Mimi. We're going on a nature picnic in Buttercup Meadow. Do you want to come? A nature picnic? Great! I might find some more things for my nature collection. I didn't know you had a nature collection. Oh, oh this is fantastic, Jess. So pretty. What do you do with it? I take it out and look through it. I love all the colours and patterns and funny shapes. <laughs> yes, they're lovely. Is there anything you can use it for? Use it for? Yes, so it's useful. I mean, I collect crayons and pencils and paints because they're pretty, but they're really useful too. Hmm, useful. Let's think. How can I make my nature collection useful? <gasps> hey, that's the big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lotta. Ask a lotta. Why? Ask a lotta. Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess. Come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can I make my nature collection useful? Oh! <sighs> Just 
what I need for our picnic. A cloth to display the food. Display it? Yes. You know, lay it all out so it looks amazing. <laughs> oh, I've got to make honey sandwiches. Oh, uh, everybody's meeting at lunchtime by the twisty tree. See you later, Jess. Bye, Mimi. Mimi's given me an idea. I can display my collection so everyone can see it. Can you guess where? Somewhere outside, in the middle of the farmyard, with lots of lovely twisty branches. Is it Willow's stable, Mimi's hutch, or the twisty tree? The twisty tree! You're right! Everyone can see my collection. That's got to be useful. <gasps> hey, I've answered the question. <laughs> yippity yay, yippity! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey! Wee! <laughs> my my nature collection! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Jess. Are you okay? Oh yes, but my nature collection's not. Look! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry! Why'd you put it by the twisty tree? I was making it useful by displaying it so everyone could see it. It's great, but it's a bit in the way here. You don't want to get it spoiled? No, I don't. Then it won't be any use at all. Our nature picnic starting soon. And games. I want to play a running and jumping game. Do you know any good ones, Jess? Hmm. No, sorry. Mimi might know. Let's go and ask her. See you later. Bye. How can I make my collection useful? Who can help me? Maybe someone who collects things. Let's think. Hmm. I know someone who collects musical things. Do you know who I mean? He's green and he's small and he lives in the pond. Is it Horace, Joey or Mimi? Yes, it's Horace. <laughs> Come on. Horace, what do you do with your musical collection? Oh, depends what it is. If it's a guitar, I strum it. If it's a shaker, I shake it. And if it's a drum, I drum on it. <gasps> That's it. Maybe I could make music with my nature collection. Let's test it out. Oh, they don't make much sound, do they? Try those twigs instead, Jess. That's better. These are like drumsticks. Great. Now let's try this feather. Hmm. It's a bit quiet. Some things in my collection are easy to make music with, but others are really hard. I want to make everything useful. You'll think of something. I hope so. It's nearly time for our nature picnic. Why don't you bring your collection with you? OK, maybe I'll have an idea on the way. Exactly. Whoopie whoop. Great! Let's go! Whoop-de-whoop! What a great nature picnic! Thanks, Mimi. Let's play a game. I haven't 
brought anything to play games with. Oh, I want to play a running and jumping game. Sorry. <gasps> I can think of something we can play with. Can you guess what I'm going to do? Ready? <laughs> Steady? useful by making a running and jumping race. <laughs> Let's play it again. Yeah! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I really love making my collection. Perhaps you could start collecting amazing things too. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>